Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this evening's future debate entitled A Robot Stole My Job. If more and more of the stuff that we need in our society is being done by robots and AI, what kind of things do we actually need to teach people? Our society is being shaped by science and technology. It's going to change the way in which we interact with you know, our healthcare, our way of living, our way of working, and we need to debate that. I think there's a huge amount to be excited about when it comes to artificial intelligence, not least the fact that this allows us to understand ourselves better. All the participants from the debate answer questions before the debate and then after the debate. So we get that data and we bring that together at our flagship debate, which this year is in London, and we feed that into the debate. So what are the discussions and the worries all across the country? What can humans do which AI can't? 36% of people believe that artificial intelligence could be trusted with uh, looking after the elderly, but 38%, so slightly more people, feel like they can't. There's a big number of people who are undecided there. The additional skills that we'll need to a greater extent, or the workforce of the future will need, is the ability to interface with intelligent machines. And those intelligent machines are computers, robots, whatever they may be, and they're also each other. I'm actually um, in charge of the old school BT pay phones that are all around the country. We're looking into the future now. This transition into, into a modern day technology will employ 600 British people. Jobs are being created. I thought it was very interesting that there was so much focus on technology and jobs and the possibility of jobs being removed, but also that in the end, we were really talking much more about humans than about robots. I'm not one of these people who believes that, that there is an essence of humanity. It's always been a kind of floating signifier, you might say. And there's a sense in which as we introduce all these new machines, we're going to have to redefine what it means to be human as against all of these things that these machines are increasingly able to do, which in the past did define our humanity. It's when they're having conversations, touching on personal, emotionally fraught issues. Suppose the old lady says, yes, it's the anniversary of my only child's death. It was killed in a road accident 40 years ago. Then what's the thing going to say? I mean, you can enjoy the companionship of Radio 4 without imagining that it's understanding you. You can watch a movie and you can have an emotional response to it without believing that there's an emotional response to your emotional response. I'm not sure the robots are going to take the world, but they're changing it profoundly. Companies and systems know a lot about you, you don't know much about them. The more public scrutiny, the more public understanding, the more pressure that politicians and others are put on to regulate and explain, the better it is for everybody. Robots genuinely did develop true human intelligence. Might they decide they didn't want to do this kind of work after all? I would suggest that we need to move beyond this idea and recognise that the elimination of jobs entirely could be a positive thing. I think our debate about robots, robotics and AI today was above all a passionate debate, which is a lovely thing to say for science. It can sound very dry, but people really care. Got a question over there. How are we going to teach robots to be human? Are we being optimistic that systems are a force for good? What's been great for me today is, is people talking about systems because I think that's what the future is going to be. I think what's really interesting about uh, subjects like autonomous systems is that people aren't quite sure how they're going to change their lives in the future. Is it scary or is it good? Uh, it's those type of questions which I think people want to answer. We are in the domain of the machines. Much of the work that we do involves translating our ends and objectives into sort of scalable data processing terms. At the moment, there's a narrow range of people involved in designing our technologies and deciding our futures. And it's very, very important in a democratic society to have a more diverse range of citizens involved in these debates. And so I think this society is doing a great job in helping educate the pu public and enthuse the public. Science is everywhere around us more so than ever, and we need everyone to feel that they can debate it, engage with it, appreciate it, enjoy it, and contribute. Thank you all for coming and participating and being an absolutely fabulous audience. Thank you.